Look how stupid Muhammad is. In one verse he says, in chapter 5 verse 17, he says that the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah. See, translation here says, God is the Messiah. That's not true. The Quran in Arabic says, Christian don't believe that Messiah is the Father. We don't. In different verse, the Christian believe that he is the son of Allah. Is he the son of Allah or he is Allah? Can you believe the stupidity? Because you are not, you cannot be the father and the son at the same time. This book written by a certified donkey. Either we believe that he is a son of Allah. Translation here is lying again. It doesn't say son of God. It says son of Allah. So the stupid Muhammad, not only he added Mary to the Trinity, the stupid Muhammad do not know the difference between that the Messiah is the Son of God and the Messiah is God. Here, he forgot to switch to say Allah, because when you say Allah, Allah is a person. There's no way the Messiah, they say that the Messiah is Allah, and they say he's the son of Allah at the same time. How stupid is that? The Trinity is a topic make them excited. However, we can prove the Trinity from the Quran. Their God, he cannot do anything without number three. Is my voice coming clear? I'm not sure. Did we lose connection? I hope not. <clears throat> so, what kind of a person who wrote the Quran? You cannot be both. You cannot be both. It is so clear that the one who wrote the Quran, he didn't understand anything about Christianity. We Christians, we don't believe that Jesus is the Father. That is even stupid to say. I mean, the, the, he said, my Father, that means he is not the Father. And your stupid Quran, the Christian, they say that the Messiah is the son of Allah. They say that. Then how in the other verse says they say he's Allah? So they lie, they say, oh, he meant some Christians. What some Christians? It says the Christians, the Nasara. Nowhere the word some is there. Can't Allah just say some? Allah is the God of a threesome. We have Mr. Ramsey is upset. Let us see Mr. Ramsey. This is Abdul who is upset. Hello? Ultimate for uh, uh, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Why, 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 why are you lying? What lie? What, 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 what lie? You know, you know, you know, you know, what, 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 What 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 what
What lie? Huh? I mean, we show them in the front of their eyes. One verse says that the Messiah is a son of Allah, the Christian, they say. And one verse says that the Messiah, they say, he's Allah. It cannot be both. Did you say to your mother, to say to the people and you to worship you and your mother, it's so clear to worship you and your mother. Did you say that? Where the Christians, they worship Mary. We don't. Not a single church, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, ever believe in such a thing. All of us, we believe that she is the mother of Jesus. All of us, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. What kind of God, you do not know even what the Christians believe. We have another Muslim, let us see. He's excited. <clears throat> so I call this Abdul, he declined. Well, a hero. He's excited, but he declined my call. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? And you know, if we ask the Muslims, let us see this Muslim here. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Oh, okay, so why you text me right now then? You don't can I talk right now, he texts me right now. Amazing. Let us see another one. <clears throat> We're trying another Abdul. I'm just muting the macro, the, the speaker, I mean the Skype uh, ringing so you don't get bothered with the ringing until they answer. This guy is not answering. Let us try another one. <clears throat> we are calling if he didn't answer this time I will block him because I called him more than once alright he declined the call he's a coward let us block him who's next When we ask them, who are the Jews who believe that there is a guy, his name, Uzair? They fail. Especially the Quran says, and the Jews says, not one Jew. Do you remember the potato Mimi Hijab when he was saying to David Wood, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe that God have a son. Not a single Jew believe in the Trinity. Not a single Jew, so the Quran is lying. Mimi Hijab was lucky because he was speaking to David Wood, not me. Not a single Jew. So the Quran talking about the Jews, as you see. The Jews. Not one Jew, not two Jews. He did not even say some of the Jews. The Jews, all of them. He did not say some of the Christians, the Christians, all of them. And the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran is a miracle in Arabic. So Allah who make a miracle in Arabic, he forgot to add some or one Jew or two Christians. Why he called them a Christian if they aren't Christians? Stupid religion. 
And the funny is, if you read this verse after it in Arabic, it gives you the opposite meaning. It says they took their monks and their and, and their, their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. What a stupid Arabic. The verse in Arabic saying they took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of the Messiah. And by the way, you can go to the Muslim website, Quran.com. You can move your hand or your mouse over the word by word. And then you will see the meaning of the word individually. And then you write it down, you will find this is what it says. But when the Muslim translate, they fix it. They say the opposite. They say, oh, they, uh, uh, you know, they took their monks and their rabbis as gods. Secondly, this is a big fat lie. Who is the Christian or the Jew who took the monk and the rabbi as God? Who? In which book we can find that? As gods, not God, gods. Very stupid cult. I like really this microphone because this microphone brings me a lot of customers. I'm so happy. The only thing I don't like that the first one she called me, the Muslim women, she offered me breastfeeding for adult. This is the only thing that was bad today, you know? I wasn't expecting to go live with a new microphone. And then the first call I received is a Muslim female offering me breastfeeding for adult. You know, they are so proud that their God is one. He is the only one actually who offer or order women to give a breastfeeding for adult. You see how good this God? The one God. Or God is one. Who cares if he's one or two? He's an idiot. Let's see this Abdul. Hello? Turn off your camera, please. Okay, I'm truly really sorry. All right. Uh, hello? Wa yes, I'm a Christian, as you see. My name is a Christian prince. Are you, are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I'm a Muslim, Sunni, Alhamdulillah, but... Your name is Abdul Rahman Imam Al-Ghazali? Uh, yes. That's a long name, my friend. Yes, indeed, it is. <clears throat> All right. So, are you Ash'ari? Uh, no, I am inquiring. But you're, yeah. You're what? I'm inquiring. I'm, inshallah, going to become an Ash'ari. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean. So, speak louder, no, please. No, I said I will become an Ash'ari. Depends on what you mean by it. Well, because you are carrying the name of Imam Al-Ghazali and he is Ash'ari, isn't he? Yes, he's an Ash'ari scholar. Okay. So are you Ash'ari? Ash no. So why you carry his name? Because I respect him as a prayer. I see him as a... Why you respect, respect him? Respect. What, what do you respect about him? Tell me. No, there's no necessary for me to answer, but I'm gonna have a, okay. I want to so, have a... So you, did you hear what we were talking about? What do you think about the topic? Uh, no, I heard your discussion with my buddy. You what? With no, no, did you hear what I said or? I did not hear what you said. I'm saying, did you hear our discussion before you called? Yes, I heard your discussion. With so, my what, do you, what do you like to say? Go ahead. I will say that your misconception on the Trinity in the Quran saying that Mary is the Trinity of Allah. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to correct you on this. Okay, correct me. This Go ahead. Verse, now, this verse specifically is um, saying that people who would behold her or hold up her, or excuse me from the word hold up for her as a god like it depends on the trinity like it's so, another way so to... so they do believe that they are she is god or they don't believe no no it depends on what the meaning like there's a tafsir there's a the, there's a commentary on this verse but yeah my friend is it is the quran is it, you muslim you say that the quran is a clear book yes it's a clear book yes okay. indeed does the Quran say that Allah he said to Jesus, did you tell your people to worship me and my mother? No, no. Jesus rebuked. No, he answered Allah. 
No, no, this, this is not the question. The, the, did Allah says, did you tell your people to worship you and your mother? Was that the question? No, yes, Allah asked them, and Jesus did not answer it. Okay, so verse. Allah, he mentioned that the Christians, the Christians, they believe that Mary, Mary yeah. and the Messiah is God, according to the Christians, correct? No. Okay, read the, not, okay read the verse for us, read the verse for us. Okay, what translation, what translation you like me to show you? Do you I don't know, care about do you know, do you know Arabic? No, I, okay, I little. So, so what translation you like me to show you? Just give me the verse, like uh, chapter one. Chapter five, verse 116. Chapter five, give me a second. And chapter five, verse 16, correct. Yeah. Okay. 16. And it says, it does not talk about Mary. What? What, sorry? The verse 16. What? Did you say chapter 16? Chapter 5, listen carefully, my friend. You are nervous, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 actually. Okay. I say to you, read for me from chapter 5 and let me put it for you in the screen. I don't know why it's. Oh, he hang up. He hang up. I know where he go. Let us call him again. <laughs> Maybe he saw that he's wrong. He decided to. Christian Prince. Did you hear it? Man? Did you see my friend the verse? Yeah. Can you okay. give me a second, my friend? Okay, I will give you a, a second. In Islam, is like yeah. a century. Yeah. Are you sure my it's friend, a second? I... No, no, no. It's not. Okay. It's not a second. Friend. Okay, text not... text me when you are ready. No problem. Are we learning, people? Are we having a good time learning? All of them, they want to debate about Trinity. But they have no idea what Islam is about. They do not know who is Allah. They never spoke to Allah. Their prophet himself never saw Allah. Even when they ask him what is a spirit, he did not, he have no idea what is a spirit. Whatever you ask Muhammad, he says Allah knows best. And then whatever you ask the Muslim, they say Allah and the Messenger know best. But the Messenger, he said that I know Allah knows best. When he cannot answer, and usually he answers nothing. There is any Muhammadan who will not try his luck with us? Yeah, actually, when I bought this microphone, it says in the description in Amazon, it will bring you a lot of Muslims. If you don't believe me, Sahih al-Bukhari. I never heard of a prophet, he have no idea about anything. Ask any question, anything. Why Allah he sent the messenger in Arabic only, and he says only so they can understand? Or later we explain it ourselves. And then we ask him a simple verse, he could not explain anything. And what kind of God he swear by the star failing, what does that mean? Have you ever heard of a god he swear by the fig? Seriously. Fig. Why in the world God who created this galaxies and this massive creation he swear by fig? I want to know what is missing. Hungry? He miss it?
he swear by the stars he swear by uh fig i mean this guy he just swear by anything in the way Do we have any Abdul? Need a commercial break? No, I do not need a commercial break. But I would, would like a commercial break if you are interested in breastfeeding for adult. Contact Prophet Muhammad 1 800 Nipples. What do you mean commercial break? Right? We don't have commercial break. We have no break at all. I can teach you how to stay virgin even after having sex by using the wisdom of Allah. He is not married and was not married before. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life. They're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times, still, they... The lady who called me in the beginning of the program today, assure you she is a virgin. I'm telling you, she is a virgin, even if she had sex 1,000 times. You go and you date a Muslim lady, she is not married, you ask her, are you a virgin? Sure, I swear by Allah, I'm a virgin. But you just have sex with 10,000 guys before. It's okay. In Islam, we are virgin. I forgot to tell you. According to my prophet, we are virgins. This is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life, they're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times many times many times doesn't matter my friend doesn't matter the mileage is working mark the marriage is stopped that's it i mean doesn't matter come on this is how stupid this religion is when they say to you we are against lying and then the prophet he says you can lie to three your wife your friends and your enemy who's left in Islam, we are against fornication and then allow you to go and rent a woman for one day, one hour, what, two hours? Or breast suckling for adult, isn't this is fornication? What is the purpose of a breastfeeding suck suckling for adult? Anger? And what he will suckle exactly? Yesterday, a Muslim, he was here and he offered me to convert to Islam. I asked him, I'm willing to convert, but I have a problem with this penis thing. I mean, what kind of religion promised me endless penis? I'm worried about it. I mean, imagine your penis, and you don't know where it is penis now. And what is the point of a penis is endless? I mean, your wife is next to you and your penis is passing China as we speak now. So what your penis will do, will you take your turn? Can you debate in the muddy water of the Quran? Yeah, this is, must be ultimate fort. He took a shower with the muddy water and he's coming back. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. What? Why are you such a zindiq? Zindiq? What zindiq mean? Yeah. It doesn't follow how you're such a zindiq. Okay, tell me what zindiq mean first. So you are a stupid, do not know what zindiq mean. Are you searching Google? No, because you're a kafir, mushrik, zindiq. But okay, but you just call me a zindiq, but you do not know what zindiq means. So what zindiq mean? <laughs> They 
are saying the guy he heard the word he heard it he have to say it you ask him what it's mean he didn't know <laughs> Okay, you're insulting me. We got it. But what's in the mean? Wait, let us hang up. Let us call him again. This guy is fun. <laughs>
Yeah, this is the same woman she called me in the beginning. Any Mohammedan? Can we debate? A Muslim saying to me, can we debate? Ah, interesting. Hmm. Must be ultimate for. <laughs> All right, I think we have a great time today. Don't forget, by the way, we have many of my books for free, translated to many languages. So the admin can post for you a link for my books. And lately we publish my book in a Persian language, and it's for free, same as the Albanian, same as the Indonesian, same as the Russian, etc. So we have a list of books for free uh, for whoever uh, is interested list of languages and thank god thank you lord that my books is going in the globe around the world from all languages almost and we are covering covering sorry covering billions of population now it's not one person language anymore or one group we are very glad to be able to offer our books for free too. Do we have any Mohammedan want to say anything? Anyone? I hope the new microphone is really clear. Uh, better than the previous one because it was to do a problem from time to time. I think that one did a lot of breastfeeding. I mean, this is what happened when you get spoiled. But that previous microphone, even though it's not working good no more, it was a very, very good microphone because through this microphone, we made thousands of Mohammedan leave Islam. Thousands. Do you see how little microphone can do? Do you see how powerful Mr. Microphone? We did extinguish the darkness of Allah. Not the light of Allah. Has Allah has no light. <clears throat> yes, my friend, you are alive. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Jahmi. Are you a Muslim? I'm a Jahmi, yeah. I'm a Jahmi Muslim, yeah. Who cares if you are a Jahmi or Fahmi? Are you a Muslim or not? I'm a Jahmi. I want to talk to you about Jahmiya. Okay. Are you a Muslim or not? I am Muslim. Okay. Say the Shahada. La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah. All right. So what do you want to tell us? Go ahead. I am a Jahmi. Oh, come on. All right. So you are a Jahmi. So what do you want to tell me about the? Tell me about the leg of Allah. Jahmiya false. Come on. Do you want to prove to me the leg of Allah? I don't believe in that. You said you are a Jahmi. I'm a Jahmi. Jahmi don't believe in that. Jahmi don't believe in that. So what do you, what do you believe? What do Jahmi believe in? So, okay, let me ask you. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, what, what do Jahmi believe in? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, uh, no, hold on. You just say you believe in. You are the one. Uh, no, you, you're, you're the you're, one telling me. You I mean, are the one. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Mushrik, mushrik, hold on. Hold on. Who's the one who told me that I believe in the leg? So, so you don't believe in the leg of Allah? No, hold on. Wait, hold on. Who, who, who is the one who told me I believe in Allah? You don't believe in Allah as a leg? No, wait. No, you, you, you just said. Can you explain to me how Allah has a leg? Can you tell me where my book says that? Can I tell you? I'll wait for you. Can I tell yeah, you? In, in the works of Jahan bin Safwan, tell me where he says that. Well, your, uh, Ibn Safwan, he don't believe in the Quran? Ibn Safwan is the ta'wil of it. I'm asking you, do he believe in the Quran? I don't know, does he? He doesn't. You don't? I don't know, does he? I okay, I want you to open for me. I want you to open the. I, 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 I want you I, I, to give I, I, me interpretation I, I, according to your Jamie. Do, do you know what Ta'awi? Hold on. Hey, listen, but listen, do, listen. Do listen you know obviously, that, you do not know what Jamie is. Listen, I'm asking you, know, you now. I'm asking you now. I'm asking you according to your Jamie scholar. According to your Jamie scholar. Do Allah has a hand? Don't talk. Don't 
don't talk over me. Don't talk over me. I'm, I'm your father. Right? You're, you're a little Christian. Right? Uh, I am. You're a 50. You're 11. Years. Okay. Let me let me ask you. Is it your? Is stop it, giving verbal. You are bro. talking about. I, I beg you. Stop giving, you are stop talking about. Verbal. You are my I'll, father. I'll you you are talking now. about being my father. Listen. Are you the father of Muhammad who was born four years after his father's death? He hung up the coward. How fast? Potato. Where is the excited one? Allah have a shin. Yeah. You are a jammy. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Wait, wait, where, you know? Huh? <laughs> Anyway, twelve down. Who's next? Let us see this Abdul. Should we take more guys or enough for today? What do you think? Did you have enough for today? Uh, Sheikh Ahmed, Sheikh Ahmed, don't say that. Don't speak such a way. Don't use bad language. Any Mohammedan? Yeah, Allah have a leg. There's tons of videos on YouTube saying Allah has a leg. What we will do with all those videos on YouTube saying Allah has a leg? Reject them? Hadith? Tafsir? Your books? All of it agree that Allah has a leg. So what we would do with that? Hmm? Shall we reject or accept? The leg of the leg of Allah. The leg of Allah is so clear. We don't know if it's hairy or not, to be honest with you. We are not sure about. It. And the Muslim, by the way, they say. Uh, <clears throat> Somebody sent me a video. Or oh, somebody doing the experiment of that cat. Man. Let me share with you this experiment. Okay, somebody sent me. I, you remember I, yesterday I said who want to send me experiment of the cat? The Muslim, they say that the cat don't... Uh, uh, don't walk on the Quran. Let us see first here. And okay, just go. I don't have time for kids. Oh, this is the guy who called. He said he give me some time. Okay, let's see this guy. But let me don't call Abdul Rahman. Don't call. Let me show you guys this experiment. I want to show you this experiment. One of you did an experiment with his cat or her cat, I'm not sure. And this is the experiment in the front of us of the cat. And she put food for the cat, as you see. And is the cat going to walk on the Quran? Mm, big challenge. The cat until now did not walk in the Quran. Uh oh, the cat, she jumped, jump on the Quran. <laughs> A big failure. And by the way, Muslims, if you want to take her picture, the one who insulted Allah, and she stepped on the Quran, here we go. Her name is Kitty Cat. She is white. She has some black around her eyes. And as you see, she is stepping on the Quran with no respect and no mercy. And what's wrong with this cat? 
a cat walking in the Quran. I thought the cat don't walk in the Quran. The Muslim, they showed us a clear experiment. Cat don't walk in the Quran. How she did? What in the world? How does cat she do such a thing? Did the brothers, the Muslims, lie to us? And she is standing now in the top of the Quran. I cannot accept this to be true. You know, when the Muhammadan they make videos, and the video go like on fire, millions of people watch it. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! The cat, she don't step in the Quran. You Muslims, you invited us to laugh. She don't. Hello? Yes, my friend, go ahead. So what we were talking about when you said you have uh, to go? No. Yeah, yeah, I have to go in a few seconds, you know, a few minutes, like okay. two minutes, okay? Guys, this needs to say something quick. Say something quick, go ahead. Okay, so we know you uh, mentioned the Allah's legs, correct? I mentioned what? You mentioned Allah's legs, like yeah. uh, in the verse. Yeah. Now, we need, you said Allah has literal legs. What do you mean by that? He don't have a leg? It's metaphorical in the Ashari and the, yeah, in the Shia view. Ah, it's a metaphorical. Okay, tell me what is the metaphorical of Allah leg? No, no, it's not like a literal leg in a sense. Okay, no problem. So it is, it is metaphorical for what? No, no, in a sense, it's just a way to show his power. My friend, I get it, I get it. It's a sense, a sense, sense of what? So, it's a, when I say oh. metaphorical, when I say, uh, if I say metaphorical, it's mean it's meant something else, right? No, no. What? No, no, my, my, uh, give me a second. Now, when I say, when they say uh, a leg, correct? Yeah. In the, in the Atari view, they don't take the attributes as metaphorical. They take it as literal. Okay. You take it as a literal leg. In okay, the so it's a literal leg. So why Allah have a leg? No, no. In the at the in the atiri aqidati, it's a literal leg. My friend, I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, what do you believe? Is it a leg, real leg, or oh, not? I believe it's metaphorical. Okay, metaphorical of what? Uh, it's a way to show his power. It's what? So the leg of Allah, rich of his power. Why? He's Muhammad Salah. No, it's just, no. It's a sense. It shows his power. What power? Leg. It's a leg. How does yeah, it, how leg, leg how the, are you saying to me the power of Allah is in his leg? No, no, it's just like in the uh, Old Testament, mm -hmm. when God is shown as a face, it's his, it's his essence, being truth, yeah. My friend, where it's you get, like where you get, this is about power, if Allah is saying leg, this is Arabic, Arabic is a leg, uh, how we, how we will recognize Allah in the day of judgment, when he hang up? That's it, any, uh, any embarrassing question, we go. The Muslims, they say Allah recognize. Allah will be recognized by Muslims by his leg. By his leg. Nothing else. Nothing else, nothing less, more. They ask Allah, Prophet, okay, are we going to see Allah? And he speak about seeing him literally and he compare him to an object. To an object. He did not say this is metaphorical. Why Muslims they come with things is not there. So if we go in the hadith, let us see. Let me uh, take the screen off so I don't hurt your eyes. Scrolling down. Um, looking for the hadith. Okay, maybe here. Let us see. Maybe this one. So they ask Allah Prophet, are we going to see Allah in the day of judgment? He said, yes. See him, see him, not metaphorically. We will see him. And then he said, do you have any difficulty of seeing the sun and the moon? And you know, the sun and the moon. Let me, let me exit my uh, Skype. Because I think we have enough for today.
with Abdul. So do you have any difficulty seeing the sun and the moon? So this is a physical scene, not metaphorical. The question, are we going to see Allah? He said, yes. And then he said to them, you will see him the same as you see the sun, the same as you see the moon in a clear day. Wonderful. Then Muhammad, he described more, and he explained that how the Muslim, they will recognize Allah. They said to him, how will you recognize him? He said, do you know any sign which you can recognize him with? They will say the shin. So Allah, then he will uncover his shin. This is not metaphorical. And to prove it, if you go back a little bit, you will see Allah, he changed his shape. Then the Almighty, the Almighty, will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. So it's a physical shape. And now Allah is became like the Grimm. You know the Grimm, the movie? You know, I saw like a tra trailer for it. Like they change, they are second in a human, and then second they are a monkey or a donkey or whatever. So Allah will change his shape. And when he come to them first time, the Muslims, they will refuse to worship him. Why? Because he come in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. And here I wonder which shape the Muslim they saw first time. Stupid. We challenge them to tell us what shape they saw him first time. And he will say, I am your Lord. And then they will say, you are not our Lord. Why? Because he come with different shape. And none will speak to him but the prophets. What a conversation, what a meeting. The Muslim is spitting at Allah, saying to him, no, you are not. Actually, in the hadith, it says, we seek refuge by Allah from you in the other hadith. And here it says, do you know how, and then Allah, he will come to them in a shape which they know, and then they will say, praise be to Allah. Now we know you. How in the world this is can be a religion? If you ask yourself now, as long the Muslim agree that Allah, he changed his shape, who is the one who created the shape of Allah? When the Muslim, they say, how God can be inside his creation? If Allah cannot be inside his creation, that means the shape which Allah is inside now is not really his shape. He borrowed it from somebody. He did not create it. Because always when you speak to Muslim, they say to you, Allah do not enter a shape of any creation. But their prophet, he got them busted as usual. You know, the problem of Muslims, or the, the, the problem they are suffering from, they have a prophet who speak too much. He never stopped making pupu. And the more he'd speak, the more pupu he do. Do you see it? Allah will come to them then in a shape other than the one they knew and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Imagine the Muslim seeking refuge by Allah from Allah. Why? Just because he changed his shape. Is that what you do with Jesus? You don't like him to be God and a human at the same time? Muhammad, he says stupid things. And he get his God busted. I think today we have a good time and uh, I'm so happy with this microphone. You guys, you like the sound, right? Uh, I get it for 150 and now because I love you all, I'm going to sell it for you for $300. And this is how we are up. We show our like loyalty to friends, you know? Yeah, the prophet, he got salvation for you Muslim to save you, but he will not give it to you unless you give him money. Or you give him his your wife. The light of Allah is when Allah He says, and any believing woman she offer herself to the Prophet. Look at the light. Look at the light. It is from the light of Allah. 
to give a special privilege to the private private part when the light of Allah come to you if you are a female you give your private part to the prophet and then someone like Christian Prince he tried to extinguish that light which means your vagina light, which is coming attracted to the bigger light the light of Allah and his prophet can he extinguish that light no way and any believing women she give herself to the prophet if he desire to take her and look they add the word marriage <laughs> Oh, it must be from God. Only through God he give a privilege to the one prophet. He love him. He love him. You know what you can say? Allah, he went to his office. He says, Muhammad is lonely. He have hundreds of six slaves. He have 13 wives. He is short with women private part. Hmm. Let me do this. I will make a long verse telling him who he can sleep with. Okay, Prophet. We made love of for you, your wives, which is very late to mention. He is already sleeping with them. And not only that, any women you capture as a spoil, okay, just F them, okay? And not only that, the daughter of your uncle from your father's side, the daughter of your uncle from your mother's side, the daughter of the uncle of the uncle of the uncle from your mother's side, the the neighbor of the neighbor of the neighbor, and any woman she immigrated with you. Look, you cannot let you cannot let a woman travel with Muhammad. The woman she traveled with Muhammad, she is his. In the top of that, any woman who is a believer, look, look, she believer. She because she believed. Now she will offer herself in the bed for the Prophet. This is the true belief. Today, I did experience some of that. We saw a Muslim woman calling me and she is offering me breastfeeding for adult. And she offer other stuff. Now you can feel what it's meant in this religion. It's amazing. When you are a believer, you give everything you have. Starting from your nipples, going downward. How beautiful. And this is how God Aka Allah, he showed how much love he had for the Prophet. Privilege. Exclusively. I mean, do you see the word exclusively? Now listen carefully. How many of you like to have a ticket which is exclusive to 10 star hotel? Well, all things is exclusive for you. The whole hotel is just made for you, brother. All women in the hotel are ready. They have no panties. Praise be to Allah. And you are telling me, this is not a religion of God. What's wrong with you? And you are telling me that those Christians, they can extinguish the light of Allah? Who can do that? When the prophet mother, she gave birth to him. According to Muhammad, his mother, she told him, a light came from her vagina, reached all the way to Damascus. We can show you the reference. The light started even before he was born. The first nuclear facility, it was the private part of the mother of Muhammad. Everything connection to a vagina. I'm so glad that Muhammad did not claim that even my microphone come from there. Actually, he did. In different verse, Muhammad, he said that Allah, he sent down the iron. And I assure you, maybe 90% of my microphone is covered by iron. So based in the Quran, brother, even my microphone sent down by Allah. But Allah did not send it to make a microphone. 
He sent it to be a matter of war material. Look how peaceful he is. I'm so happy to have you today, people. I hope many, they will leave Islam. We love Muslims. Yes, we disagree with them. Yes, we are exposing Muhammad and his lies. But not because we hate Muslims and we will never hate them. Remember that. Even if they call us names. Even if they hate us. This is why we don't know what to do. How they can refute us. They are following the God of hatred. The devil himself who said, he said himself, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians, even between the Jews, even between everybody. And the funny is, the Quran claim that the one who spread hatred and enmity is shaitan. In the same chapter, chapter 5, verse 14, Allah, he says, he will spread hatred and enmity. And you see here that additional proof that Islam is a lie because we don't hate the Muslims. How we will hate the Christians then? Do you see how we prove Allah to be a fraud? Allah, he wanted to spread hatred between us and the Muslims. He wanted you to hate the Muslims. Jesus says, no, love them. Love those who curse you. Quran fail. Love never fail. And that is, I'm quoting the Bible. Muhammad, he failed. We love the Muslims. He wanted us to hate each other. That's why in the same chapter he says, Oh, Muslim, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Why? Because he wants to spread hatred between us. He want us to kill each other for he is satanic. We don't hate them. We will not kill them. And I'm willing to take them as my friends. But the problem how I can trust somebody, he believe in this garbage. Love never fail. Muhammad hatred fail. His nipples cannot fool us. His version, which is not versions, cannot tempt us. Ask yourself a very simple question. If somebody come to your door and knock at your door and says, if you believe in me, I will give you a lot of women just for sex. Isn't it obvious that he is satanic and he is a pimp? Isn't it? My friends, what will happen in the future is going to be an avalanche of apostasy. Already it is happening. We extinguish the lies of Allah. For Allah has nothing except lies. God bless you. Christ is Lord. And see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe if you care to listen, to watch, to learn. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly today. And may the Lord bless you all. Take care. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubt. And there is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Your child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American born That's Muslims. Right. Yeah. Wallahi. One of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. Do you know how many Muslims became atheists today? Polls conducted in the Muslim world reveal that up to 5% of Muslims in some of the most conservative Muslim countries in the world are closet atheists. Addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, 
I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. 